Hello and welcome. Well, today I'm going to do kind of a, a fun, silly project. Uh, I'm going to put a uh, oscillating drum sander on my Camelback drill press. Uh, I'm going to utilize some belt material that's not available to everybody. Uh, it's kind of an industrial product. It's a one inch belt up here, uh, or a three quarter inch belt. Uh, but I'm also going to use a, uh, a, if you want to call it a belt, it's this stuff called, uh, it goes by many names, it's a polyurethane round uh, belting. It, this is four millimeter, it comes in a six millimeter, it comes in quarter inch and eighth inch probably too. Uh, but it just melts together, you can do it with a soldering iron. I got a tool for doing it, but uh, the soldering iron works pretty good. And I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video, but it really opens up some possibilities on stuff like this. Uh, anyway, let's get started building it. I think that's probably good.
I'll give that about 15 minutes. It'll be spliced. Okay, let's see if it works. Look at that. <laughs> ah, okay. Got to attach those rollers there. Well, let's see if I got the speed right. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, now all I got to do is weld an arm onto that to go to here. Wobbly. Good reason to use the center of it. Okay, this is a little bit of a problem here. I had to improvise. I was going to put a bolt clear through it and a nut and washer on each side. But I don't have any clearance on the back side of this disc for a nut. So I'm going to have to improvise and put this on there. Are you ready? Needs to be a little bit shorter. I don't know what 
traveling, but it seems to be working all right. To build a table with a hole in it, a wood table and a vacuum vacuum board on it. The neat thing about this drill press is I can move this move it down. Move the spindle down. Seems a little slow. Let's try speeding it up. Now remember, speeding it up does not speed the oscillation of it, it only speeds the uh, drill press up. See, this, is, this belt's driving the drill press. This one runs off the bottom pulley no matter what. Definitely better. Yeah, I need to build a table. I bought my truck and got it underneath. Oh, I like it. Well, that about wraps it up. Thanks for joining me and be sure and subscribe. Hold on a minute. Let me show you this polyurethane belt before you go. Uh, you can get it in different diameters. There's a four millimeter. There's a six millimeter. I believe you can get it in a quarter inch too, uh, up to ten millimeter, I think. Uh, but it's pretty neat stuff. It's very strong, and you can melt it together with a soldering iron. They make special tools for it too, which is probably a modified soldering iron. Uh, this works a little better, but a soldering iron works perfectly good. Uh, that flat blade's kind of nice. Anyway. You got to build some kind of little jig to hold that belt stationary. They make jigs commercially for doing this, but you don't need to buy one. It'd be hard to find anyway. Uh, you just put it in there like that. I just made that out of a 2x4. And then you take a soldering iron, and you don't want it too hot. If you let it get really hot, you'll see the rubber start boiling. But it's melting the rubber right there. And you want to get a little bead of rubber on each side of that blade and then just quit pushing on the belting. Just let it sit there for maybe 10-15 seconds. What that's doing is getting the rubber or polyurethane hot down in the core of the belt. And then you push it together, but you don't do it real firmly because if you do, you end up with a... Uh, cold weld. What you do, what it will do is push the melted polyurethane out of the way and then you'll have cold rubber against cold rubber. So you, you definitely don't want to push really hard. If you make one of these, make that gap a little bit smaller. The belt's trying to deflect a little bit, the curve of the belt. Anyway, you let that cool there for maybe, oh, two minutes. For this size belt it doesn't take very long. This one here you'd have to let it cool like three or four minutes. And then you won't be able to break that. It's an incredibly strong joint. Okay, that's cooled maybe a couple of minutes. Probably should cool a little longer, but let me show you what you do here. You take a uh, flush trimming cutters and you trim that extra rubber off. You can grind it off too on a belt grinder, belt sander. That splice is done. See how close I can focus. I probably need to let it cool just a little bit longer before I stress test it. We'll give that another minute or two. Okay, this belt's cooled another two or three minutes. I think it's probably plenty strong. Let's give it a stress test. I might be able to break it. I don't know. Nope. 
probably not good on that joint, but it, I can't break it. You take uh, some of this quarter inch stuff and there, it's incredibly strong. You, over time it'll stretch a little bit, but it's, if you tinker like me, this is a really, really handy thing to have around. Anyway, that wraps it up and thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe.